It's mid-afternoon in the village of Topisi, and Dilewa Kwena is making her way to her money pot, the Mopane tree. The tree is important to tens of thousands of people in North and Central Botswana. That's because it's home to some very special critters, the Mopane worm. Technically a caterpillar, this is a delicacy here in Southern Africa. It's mostly us women who go into the bush to harvest the morphine caterpillar. We then squeeze the guts out and wash them thoroughly before cooking and drying it. The process of preparing the local treat is simple. They're set to boil for about two hours in a pot of water, flavored with salt. The water is then drained and they're set to dry in the sun for one to two days. A snack highly rich in protein and amino acids. So this particular batch is only about a month old, but I understand that the Mopane worm can last for as long as two years. And I guess while I'm here, I might as well give some a try. Uh, look for a nice crispy bit. Interesting. It's salty and kind of tastes like a mixture of chewy meat and grass. It's definitely very interesting. During that season, um, there's a lot of pine trade going on. The country issues permits uh, because you need to have at least 10% of the pine uh, caterpillars remaining. Otherwise, you will wipe out the, the entire um, population. Since Dilewo started selling the delicacy, she's been able to take her children to school and begin construction of a new house. And she says she doesn't intend to change her work anytime soon. This past season in December, I've managed to get about four bags, and those four bags have already given me $450. And I'm hoping because it's been raining, the second season in March will also be profitable. Uh, the government puts out, gives out licenses, and harvesters go out to harvest. And it's a, it's a multi-million pula industry, in that you, there's been years where the uh, returns from it have been over 7 million pula. And to estimate that in terms of dollars, you can divide that by 10. In 2013, a report by the UN's Food and Agriculture Organization said with food production needing to increase 70% to feed the 9 billion people who will populate the earth by 2050, we should start looking to insects as part of the solution. So, you never know. With the right measures, 30 years from now, you just might see this little critter from the Mopane tree as a common snack in every corner of the world. Maria Galang, CGTN, 2PC, Botswana.